happy Easter. Um, we're going live right now as per our normal uh, Sunday, Thursday schedule. Sunday we try to go live together. And what time is it? It's, uh, it's 10.30. Early. We're going yeah. early today because of the holiday. Um, but uh, normally we try to do around 1 o'clock Pacific time. But uh, today we're going a little bit earlier. Um, but that's all right. That works, right? It's all good. So we just thought we'd go over a few things with you guys today. We had a busy day yesterday. We um, we did a few out of our first batch of Cornish. I think we did 14. We did 14. Yeah. And um, so that went really well, and they were the perfect size for game hen size, right in between the, the between one. Between a pound and two pounds. Yeah, a pound, yeah. pound and a half. They were yeah. perfect, spot on. So that was great. And happy Easter, Backwoods. Thank you. Yes, exactly, JM. I'm actually going to talk about uh, Zombie Day. We have a little story about that. That's actually in the yes, topic today. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we just thought we'd kind of go over that. But uh, <laughs> the uh, we did do some of the, the Cornish game hen size yesterday, which turned out great. And then uh, our buddy Tony uh, called us and uh, had some goodies for us over there. So we thought we'd um, run by and swing by and see what he was doing in his garden. And we shot some video there. So we'll. He's actually got more garden going than I do right now, he which has me right upset. Now, which is weird, but. Um, we haven't focused good. any of the video really on any of the gardening, uh, which is kind of my passion. Her passion is the birds, and I like mm -hmm. the gardening. But yeah. um, I was really bummed out to go over to Tony's house and find out how much gardening he had going on yesterday. Well, so you never know. You I got to kick know. it up a notch. Yeah. Well, he gave you some some things that we didn't have that were kind of cool. So we'll we're gonna trade him some stuff for for a few more things that he's got that he's uh, doesn't want to hang on to. So I think that'll work out really well. But he is a, a ham radio guy, and uh, my dad was a big ham head. And uh, back in the day, he used to have to learn Morse code, and I was super little when my dad tried to teach me, and it just like I can SOS and Morse code and beyond that, like I don't remember the whole alphabet, you know, and I under, you know, all these years have thought that, you know, you still had to know Morse code and all of that, but apparently they have changed the rules. And um, we were talking about it yesterday and I want to get my dad's old call sign. So he's like, you know, you really should just go get your license. They've changed it. They're doing tests all the time. You can totally go down and do it. So that's gonna be my personal next project, I think is, is that, and how appropriate to talk about on Easter. I'm getting my ham license, get it? Because you serve ham on Easter. SoCal bum, Living. Bum. Somebody from Fallbrook. Hey, what's up? Hello. That's right up the road. Yeah. Um, so I'll be, I'll be working on, on getting that so I can get that call sign. So I'm kind of excited about that. The other cool thing about the ham radio thing is in a uh, SHTS, do I say it wrong, don't I? What is it? Well, fan starts with an F. So try again. <laughs> Whatever. I can never do that acronym for some reason. It never comes out right. Um, but when a you know what hits the fan situation occurs and power's down, cell phone's not working, whatever, you can still communicate um, a decent range with a ham radio and find out what's going on. So I think that's a good thing to add to our, our prepper stash is that I have a working ham radio and a license that I can be active on and have communication with people. I'm just going to have guns and bullets. Um, he's going to have guns and bullets, and I'm going to be yapping on the <laughs> on the ham. Um, <laughs> but hey, whatever works. So uh, so that all went really well, and I I, I, I think uh, I think I'm excited about like getting that now. I think that'll be cool. Like I, I think I, I just have to do a little research and a little studying for the test to know some of the the hardware and how it all works. And Dustin Dean, what's going on? Hey, Dustin Dean. Yes. So I'm not wearing my hat right now because uh, right. I didn't want to mess up my hair. <laughs> I did just give him a haircut last but, week. But I, I do I do appreciate the hat. And, and uh, if you guys haven't checked out Dustin Dean's channel, bounce over there and check it out. They've got a relatively new channel and uh, they've got some good information on there. Uh, they're doing some cool homesteading and you guys should check it out. Definitely. Sure. Yes. So yeah, I'm, we've friended each other on Facebook so we've been chatting on there a little bit but um it's which is cool this is another cool thing that you know with social media and stuff you can kind of befriend somebody that's you know on the other side of the country and you know still has similar interests and things that you do but you know it's kind of cool they have a different setup than we do and so it's kind of neat so definitely go check out their channel and uh you know throw them a few likes and a subscribe why not right so uh let's see what was the other uh oh yeah the zombie story oh 
So when Frankie was little, <laughs> she's little right now, little but now. when she was really littler, little. when she was about um, just shy of three, actually right around three, um, we had her in a preschool a couple days a week that was a, a, you know, in a lot of preschools that are in churches. And so she was, it was a Christian based preschool. And um, she, uh, she came home and she was like, you know, Mom, you know, Miss Miss Stewart told us all about um, Easter and Jesus today, and I was like, "Oh, really? What did you learn?" And she's like, "Well, Jesus was very sad, but he had muscles because he's very strong on the cross." And I was like, "Okay, that's great." And she goes, "And then he died, but then he came back. It was okay. He was like a zombie, but it was just a story, and it's okay." So we always that has been the joke around here since Frankie was little that you know it's it's zombie day. It's uh, the original zombie day that, uh, <laughs> so, uh, happy Easter. Thank you, Swagga guy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with all these comments here. Jeff, yeah, we've got uh, several videos in the making right now. Um, I've got, well, we shot yesterday. A when lot we were, yesterday, yeah. We shot a lot yesterday, and, uh, but I actually finished last night the barrel house cooker video from St. Patrick's Day when we smoked uh, or slow cooked a couple of shoulders and a couple of chickens. So I yeah. actually finished editing that last night. I've just got to throw the intro on it today and I may post that tonight. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, uh, but it's going up within like the next 24 mm -hmm. hours. And then I've got uh, a garlic video that I'm working on and I've got the Cornish that we shot yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple other videos from the last couple weeks. Yeah, we've got something else that's kind of exciting in the works, but I don't want to say what it is yet. So hmm. maybe in a little while. Talking about yesterday's phone call? Yes. Yeah. But so I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to like say what that is yet, but. We missed a phone call yesterday too. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was supposed to call Dutch yesterday. Oh, you were supposed to call Dutch yesterday. That's not missed a phone call. That means you didn't call. You didn't right. make a phone call. Right. We're still trying to teach him how the whole phone thing works. You know, he's cute, but sometimes he's slow. Right. Um, <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, we just wanted to hop on for a little bit, give you a little update. We do have something exciting in the works. We hope potentially exciting that we're excited about anyway. Um, it's a lot of exciting. A lot right of exciting there. things happening. I might have to take a Valium just to keep myself <laughs> even healed. Um, <laughs> But um, but we'll give you the details as we have more uh, on that. Make sure you go check out Dutch's channel uh, because Mike feels guilty that he forgot to call him yesterday. Keeping it Dutch. <laughs> Keeping it Dutch. And Dustin Dean's channel. Uh, make sure you guys go check out their channel as well. Um, he planted a few months ago, the garlic, Dustin. What yeah, Dustin. Because uh, they you, take forever. You got to plant your garlic in the fall. You got to uh, plant it like 20 years ago if you want it to be ready by now. I planted <laughs> mine in October, and it really depends on, um, you know, the temperature and what the winters look like. But the idea with garlic is you need to get it in the ground in time for it to start to shoot up some green before the winter frost hits. So then it will frost over. Believe it or not, it actually needs that. Sounds like a drug reference. Shoot right. up some green, like you right. top of a And then in the spring is when it takes off. So I planted mine in October and it's almost like some of it's almost done right now. I'm I'm actually gonna be shooting some of that um maybe in the next day or two. Yeah. So Yes. So on that note guys, happy egg and bunny holiday. Happy LBJ zombie day. And um don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel. And uh, click the bell so you get the notifications when we go live and like say weird stuff and post new content and all that good stuff, right? That's right. All right. Bye. You guys have a great day.